Gordon began his career in housing with Motherwell District Council in 1978. For 37 years, he's played an integral role in developing multi-agency working to support vulnerable people. He's covered all disciplines within the housing service and in his current role, his focus is on providing homeless services and multi-agency working in relation to domestic abuse and child and adult protection. Gordon has excellent communication skills. He engages well with both young and old and is experienced in dealing with really difficult and sensitive issues. He's been involved with the MARAC process since its outset in North Lanarkshire. This involves multi-agency working with housing, social work, NHS, Education, Police Scotland to help minimise the risks for victims of domestic abuse, both male and female, and their children. Anne Hain, Gender Based Violence Manager at NHS Lanarkshire's EVA project, really put Gordon's efforts into words. Anne says Gordon has been one of the cornerstone examples of best practice she has ever worked with, always a person to go to with an out of the ordinary query. His approach and approachability always gets things done. Applying professionalism and creative solutions is effortless with Gordon as part of the team. Myself and many others would reiterate Anne's comment that he's been an utter joy to work with. On a daily basis, Gordon demonstrates a real and tangible commitment to delivering a caring, comprehensive service to members of the public, team members and external partner agencies. I believe that Gordon demonstrates the Council's corporate values in all that he does. Gordon has intimated his intention to retire from the service at the end of 2015. It would be a fitting tribute to his loyalty and commitment to the Council if he were successful in achieving this prestigious award. I'm putting Rita McLucas forward for this award because I believe that she embodies the organisational values of respect, commitment, pride in the job and listening and learning. Having recently celebrated 40 years of local government service, Rita continues to be a key member of the committee services team who is integral to taking forward the committee process and ensuring that it runs smoothly. She has an exceptional attention to detail, which is reflected in the, in the quality of the work she produces, work in which she takes immense pride. Throughout her career with the Council, she has contributed hugely to the personal development of colleagues and has taken them with her in achieving the skills to meet the challenges presented by evolving technology. In addition to managing extensive changes in work practices, she has ably managed the changes presented by the merging of two services into one division. As a key member of the election team, she regularly works late into the evening and at weekends without complaint throughout the election process to ensure that critical deadlines are met. Her role within the election team requires an ability to be flexible and to adapt to all sorts of issues not encountered in her day job and at all times, in dealing with candidates, members of the public and other agencies, she is an outstanding example of the Council's organisational values. Coatbridge Locality was the first area to establish a short-term intensive home support service. Its success would not have been possible if it was not for the vision and determination of Kathleen. Respect. Since the introduction of the service, Kathleen has been clear that it is aimed at supporting not only service users, but also offering emotional and practical support to families at end of life stage. This has been challenging work, which Kathleen completes with sensitivity and understanding. Commitment. Kathleen has been the driving force in ensuring that staff receive appropriate training and support. Feedback from all has demonstrated that this service works for the people who need this high level intensity of support. As the role developed, Kathleen created a bespoke training plan which has been adopted by five other localities. It is evidence from the work that Kathleen has gone well above and beyond what we would expect. She has developed extensive networks and resources resulting in a more developed, responsive and person-centred supports. 
feedback from all speaks for itself. It has been at times overwhelming with the compliments received from families and colleagues. Listening and learning. Kathleen has listened to what matters and what's important to service users, their families and to the wider workforce. And this has led to better services and enhanced people's lives. Kathleen Grace embodies the values of this corporate award with energy, tenacity and being a bit crabbit, but in a good way. Susan has consistently demonstrated corporate values in her role as a senior officer within learning and organisational development in housing and social work services. However, for the application for corporate awards, I've chosen to highlight Susan's role as the manager of the internal review team for investors and people. Susan has undertaken this role for a number of years. To do this, she leads a team of staff who are selected from across housing and social work services. The staff complete the interviews to collate the evidence for assessment against the 10 national standards for investors and people. Staff within the team have commented that Susan treats them with respect. She offers them the correct amount of support and particularly for newer staff, they have commented how engaging and respectful she is. Susan also takes pride in the results of the investors and people, not only in achieving the accreditation, but also in the improvement in standards of service to the public. The highest accolade can be seen in the fact that the service has achieved a bronze award in 2013, closely followed by the silver, and at the beginning of this year, attained the gold status in investors and people, which is the highest accolade that can be achieved in this award, and is only achieved by 2% of organisations who undertake the assessment. However, the best testimony to Susan comes from the staff in the review team who gave various statements to compile this award. Susan, in my opinion, um, embraces the, uh, the values of North Lanarkshire Council. She's managed to engage the wider workforce in the, the process of self-improvement, um, particularly in respect of the Investors and People Awards. Susan is highly influential in driving the organisation in relation to self-improvement. She demonstrated a number of leadership skills and qualities um, at a very high level, which is not always easily managed. The team reported that she provided them with confidence to adopt an openness and learning to improving uh, service standards. Susan, as a colleague and as a, a manager, doesn't like the limelight. It's one of her finest qualities. If you look round the room just now, she's the one with the bright red face. But this is actually one of the qualities that staff and colleagues admire about Susan, in that she's actually at her best when trying to seek the best from others to ensure that we work in an organisation that she admires and that we're proud of.